Welcome back to the anime news for the week ending July 6th, 2018. Starting with some news about Violet Evergarden. We now know that there is a movie coming for Violet Evergarden. There was an announcement video this past week. Um, the film will open in the same time period worldwide in January of 2020. So you have a little ways to wait for that particular film. There's also been some, there's also a new visual revealed for the film. Um, there will also be a new published work for Violet Evergarden, but uh, that will be coming so, again, in like a year and a half, we'll be getting that, presumably. So, uh, but good news for those who like Violet Evergarden and want more of it. We will be getting more of it, eventually. We'll also be getting more of The Piano Forest, reveal this past week uh, from the official website for the TV series for Piano no Mori, or The Piano Forest. Uh, and we'll be getting a second season coming in January of 2019. So this coming up January in about six months, along with this new visual here. Um, so we'll be getting more of that. I believe there was an OVA of this, or a movie of this at one point. Um, not quite sure about that, but uh, we're definitely uh, uh, getting more of the TV series. Uh, some nice news for fans of Captain Tsubasa, which was certainly huge over here back in the day. Uh, the new 2018 Captain Tsubasa series will apparently be premier will, will be airing rather on the Primo TV channel in the U.S. This is a channel that is uh, aimed at Hispanic children, uh, but airs in English. Only available in some regions, so you're not going to find it everywhere. But the plan is for them to, to air it um, Saturdays and Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, which is pretty darn late, if you ask me, uh, with, with repeats at 1.30 in the morning. So I'm sure all the kids are going to be tuning in for that one. Um, but, you know, we all have video recorders at this point. So that is apparently the plan for that. It's showed up on TV Guide. So that's pretty cool. That we'll be getting the new Captain Tsubasa over here in the U.S. on some kind of broadcast uh, format. Moving on, um, kind of a surprise, interesting, just sort of note announcement. MVM, which licenses anime in the UK, uh, had a panel at, I believe this is at Anime Expo this year. Um, no, it's on a, from a website, Anime Independent, an interview with uh, Tony Allen, who owns MVM. Uh, and he announced they're planning to drop DVD support moving forward. They will no longer be releasing anime on DVD, just Blu-ray basically saying that uh, the current sales are about 60% Blu-ray, 40% DVD, and because anime uh, fans tend to be more focused on new technologies, he expects that to only accelerate. And just for these small runs, it just does not make sense for them to be supporting two different uh, formats. Um, and it's not just a theoretical thing. They have a lot of unsold DVDs that uh, end up getting returned. So uh, it looks like DVDs are going away, and we're moving towards Blu-rays, at least in MVM's case. And that might be a harbinger of things to come for that stuff. Um, Alan wrote, uh, stated, We all suffer the same problem of minimum print runs on two formats, where sales are then split across those formats and often leave us, and often leave us large quantities of stock. Um, and that's a rising cost. Uh, and he says it's the same as the old VHS versus DVD thing. You know, at some point you got to move on to the new format. So, looks like that is coming. So, uh, you know, this might be the first sign of leaving DVD. Um, moving on to some streaming news, Crunchyroll and Funimation have announced that they will be streaming the upcoming free film. Um, and uh, let me get a date on that, I'm trying to find that here. Uh, so yeah, free dive to future. Uh, oh, premiere, date, premiere dates have not yet been announced, so we don't know. They will be uh, dubbed in English on Funimation streams at least. So who knows, but they, they will be available over there. Um, it'll premiere in Japan July 11th. So we know that's, you know, we'll, we'll probably a little, little bit later, especially if they're doing a dub. Uh, we will be getting that at some point, but good news for those of you who uh, like free, we'll be getting that over here. Uh, sad news for fans of J-Pop Summit, a uh, uh, anime, manga, and Japanese pop culture uh, convention out of California, I believe. Um, 
and uh, they have announced that they are going to not hold this year's J-Pop Summit due to unforeseen circumstances in regards to the festival venue, which probably means that something happened uh, with the, the venue staff, basically, right? That kind of makes sense. Uh, it's just not going to happen this year. Sorry. Uh, uh, it is run by a group called New People um, uh, and hosted by a nonprofit organization called Super Frog, Super Frog Project. Um, and uh, New People will still be presenting the Japan Film Festival in San Francisco this fall. So apparently they still want to make conventions. It's just the, uh, the venue fell through, apparently, this year. It's been running since about 2009. So... Very sad, very strange. Um, moving on to some happier news. Um, it's been announced that a sequel to Fairy Tale in manga form will be premiering in a Shonen, a Weekly Shonen Magazine coming up soon. Um, it'll show up in their app on July 25th, the Magazine Pocket app. So uh, it will be uh, dr uh, drawn by Atsuo Ueda, who did Dr. Prisoner, and Hajime Shacho Monogatari. But uh, this right here is actually in, you know, his image of you know, the character. So he's obviously got the character designs down. So that's pretty cool uh, that we've got Fairy Tale um, continuing. Obviously, no anime yet, but it's going to happen. We, we all know that. Um, and um, the, the good news, uh, the other good news, is that Hiro Mishima, creator of the original Fairy Tale, will be storyboarding this new manga, while Ueda will be actually drawing it. So Mishima will still be involved in uh, the, the overall structure of, of that, at least the, the artistic structure of that. We'll see how that goes. There's already another spin-off manga that's been going, uh, that will be launching soon, called Fairy Tale Happy no Daibo Ken, Happy's Grand Adventure. Um, and uh, so then there's also um, a Fairy Tale City Hero spin-off manga, which will debut this fall. So Fairy Tale definitely chugging along. Um, and just uh, 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 progressing, and again, I'm sure we'll be getting anime from that. So that's all the news for this week. Hope you found that useful, and uh, hope to see you next week with more anime news.